everybody, Rory from a &S Gear. We're looking at a goggle today. We've got the HK HSTL goggle. Now this comes in black and black and black. So I don't think there's any other colors of this goggle at the moment, but it does come in two variants, a single pane version and a thermal dual pane version lens. So you can pick either one. You can get the better lens right off the bat or just go um, with the more budget friendly version, the single pane, and then switch to the thermal lens down the road. We sell a clear and a smoke thermal lens for this. So you can upgrade uh, or replace, I should say, the lens or upgrade the lens down the road, either way. So we're gonna open up, we've already opened up this one right here. Uh, we'll take the lens out, we'll look at the inside of it. I'm gonna leave the single pane in the box or the bag because it is the same. So one of the things you'll notice with this goggle is it has a head strap on it, which I have never seen on a non full head coverage goggle. So this is gonna offer a little bit more um, support or um, it's gonna offer, it's gonna keep the goggle from moving a little bit more than some other goggles. I guess that's the angle I was going for right there. Uh, it does feel odd though, never having worn a goggle that has a strap on the top of it, it feels different and it would take some getting used to, but I can feel when I have it on that it's offering a little bit more security on my head and it would never slip down or go through there. Um, which is not a problem I've ever had in the past, but I can, I've can i seen that happen to people and this would definitely solve that issue. And you could tighten it up to really make it kind of fit your head. Just if you're wondering what it looks like, you can see that right there, right along the top. Now there is a little Velcro, a little strap right there. So if you didn't want it on, you could just undo it and take it out of here. I'm pretty sure that just can pop out through there. Kind of looking at it yeah you could feed that back through and take it out and and not have it in there at all um so it's up to you you cut that off and do whatever you want with it uh the strap on the back does have silicone on the inside so it keeps it from moving around and it is adjustable um, to make it tighter or looser depending on the size of your head now the goggle or the the i'm looking at the uh, visor and it does look like the visor is removable so you could pop that off if you needed to and it let me check out the foam here foam is removable as well i don't know if we sell replacement foams for this one at this time but we're shooting the video so you want to keep checking up on the website and see if we do have it if you need that foam in there but it is replaceable well it's removable whether they have replacements for it i don't know at this point but it is removable so you could take it out of there um and then it does have a chin strap at the bottom with um, a little bit of a cushion to it. So that's comfortable, easy snap on there, squeeze those things together and pop that right off. Now the foam itself is average in thickness and in comfort. The goggle doesn't feel bad on my face. Um, I'm pretty picky when it comes to goggles. I like the way certain goggles feel and I don't like the way certain other goggles feel but this one is kind of in the middle. Doesn't pinch my nose too much. Doesn't push really hard against my face. Offers good coverage. I know a lot of people on the KLR thought that it was a little high on the sides. Um, this one, my, my jawline does stick down underneath it. Um, I like the ear coverage right here. Really good around my ears. Breathability is all right. I can, it's got a bit of an echo to it on the inside. That's not much you can do about that. Um, and it seems like I can hear pretty good out of it, but you can see the coverage right there. My chin, my chin is about level with the bottom. If I was talking or yelling or something, my chin would definitely be exposed out the bottom. But I think that pretty much happens with most goggles. All right, so let's pop the lens out of this thing here. So these, the takeaway of the lens on this is probably easier than it is on the KLR um, and the SLR. So this, you can see inside here, there's like a little toggle right there. So basically you're going to rotate that toggle and pop this little thing out. So we can rotate this piece right here. And if you look on the inside, get that out of the way you can see that toggle rotating. It might be a little hard to see because black on black there. But if we rotate it and pop it out, you can see it's got little, little, two little indexing tabs on it. And we just rotate that and then pop it out. 
And then we do the same thing for the other side, rotate, pop out. And then our lens, we should, in theory, be able to get it right out the front. In theory, there we go. So you've got a couple little, I don't wanna call them clips, but little tabs right there. And that's what's, what's hanging up up there. So it's nice that it doesn't just fall right out when I've undone the clips. Um, Cause these little, they're not, I wouldn't call them retainers, but they kind of just help the lens sit in the right spot. So we make sure we wanna go those out. So we replace that, get the new one, get the different color, whatever it happens to be. And then we wanna make sure that we line up these top two tabs and these bottom two tabs with the slots that are there. So let's go ahead and put those in and push them into their spots. That way everything fits in the right spot. There we go. I can see why it was a little difficult to get out when I did it earlier, because they definitely, you kind of have to push them into the right spot to get them in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my left clip in first. I'm gonna rotate that. So this holds my lens from going anywhere on this side. And then I can kind of push this one into place, hopefully, and get it to sit down in there. There we go. So definitely getting them out is much easier than getting them back in. And I'm thinking it's because I don't have it in properly. So I'm gonna pop this back out. So I'm looking at it right now and I can see where my problem is. Right along here, there is like a groove that the lens needs to drop down into. So this little edge of the bottom of the lens needs to fit in this track. And if you're trying to come in at it this way, you're probably not gonna get it to sit inside there. It kind of needs to come in like that and drop inside that little groove right there. So I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna lift that up. I'm gonna put this in that groove right behind there, which I got it in there. And now I'm gonna try it to get it in there. Yeah, much better. Learn something every, every day, there we go. That one goes in there, rotate that. Locks that one in there and goes back just like that. There we go. So very easy to put back in if you do it right. And I definitely was not doing it right the first time, but I took a minute to look at it. That's one thing when, you, when you're working on something, don't ever force it. If you're trying to force it in there, you're probably doing it the wrong way. Um, so you can always pull it back out, look at it, figure out the right way to do it kind of inspect the area, see where it's going wrong, and then try again. Uh, but it is easy to put in once you do it the right way. So you can switch out the lenses, super easy, possibly switch out the foam if they provide that for you. This is removable, visor's removable, good overall coverage, basic price right there. I like that there's two different versions where you can get the standard lens or the thermal lens. It's up to you. So this is the HSTL goggle from HK. Get yours today at ansgear.com.